October 25th. Today we remember our Holy Mother Saint Tabitha. Saint Tabitha, which means gazelle, was a disciple of the Apostles and she lived in Joppa. She was full of good works and alms deeds, but suddenly she became weak and she died. The Apostle Peter was then in the town of Lida, and the grieving disciples sent for him, imploring him to comfort her kinsman. Upon his arrival, the great Apostle of Christ told everyone to leave the room where the corpse lay, and then he knelt in prayer. Then, as we learn from the Acts of the Apostles, turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, arise! And Tabitha opened her eyes, and she stood up. Many believed in the Lord Jesus Christ because of this wonderful miracle. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, O comforter of the Spirit of truth, who art in our places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Today the faith of Christ is confirmed by Peter, and the faithful will behold the wonder which has been wrought in Joppa. Join chorus in gladness, and glorify with songs the Son of God, the bestower of life. The preeminent apostle speaks, and she who had died rises from the grave. Her does he who has cast on death, death give to the church, that the people may adorn themselves in emulation of her virtues. Wherefore come, ye Christians, let us bear our supplications to the saint. O blessed and loving Tabitha, bear thou our sighs unto the all-holy Trinity, and pray thou with boldness that we may be children of the pre-eternal light, may be counted worthy of the mercy of God, and may abide in love divine, and that peace may reign throughout all the world. Hold. There is none like unto thee, O glorious Lord, for with thy mighty hand thou didst deliver the people whom thou hadst acquired, O thou who lovest mankind. Holy and righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. Today the luminous feast has arrived, filling the whole world with joy. 
Tabitha returns to this life from the sleep of death, showing forth the path to salvation. Holy and righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. Even though having ascended into heaven, the destroyer of death and hell reigns at the right hand of the Father. Yet he also abides inseparably within his church according to his true promise. And he now raises up his disciple who was adorned with the virtues and full health from the midst of the dead, at the word of his apostles, showing forth to his faithful the path to salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As a wellspring of mercy, he who has promised to have mercy upon the kindly of heart, raised up from corruption the blessed Tabitha, who loved her neighbor unto the edification of all, showing forth through her life the path to salvation. Both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. O most young virgin who has brought forth into the world joy, peace, and salvation, with the merciful Tabitha entreat thy Son, the Almighty, that he have mercy upon his people, for he is the way to salvation for his faithful. Willingly didst thou descend from on high to earth, O thou who art more highly exalted than every principality, and from the uttermost depths of Hades thou didst raise up lowly human nature, for there is none more holy than thee, O thou who loves mankind. O holy and righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. The author of all creation, abasing himself for our sake, condescended even to endure the cross and burial. Yet he arose as God in glory, raising up those in the graves. And now he has also raised up Tabitha from the dead, at the word of the preeminent apostle, wherefore gloriously has he been glorified? O holy and righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. Fulfilling his whole dispensation concerning us, the master of life and death, sent forth his apostles, the initiates of the mysteries of heaven, to all the nations to proclaim the salvation of all mortals. And at the utterance of the rock of faith, he raises up Tabitha who had died, Wherefore gloriously has he been glorified. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. He who imparts life unto all, raises up from corruption the merciful Tabitha, who had tasted of death, and he confirmed the faith of his disciples by the miracle of his evangelist. Therein, has he gloriously been glorified. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In thanksgiving, let us all gloriously glorify her who is more exalted than the heavens and more pure than all creation, who revealed to the world Emmanuel, who had saved us and made us his own, who has united us to him and raised us up from everlasting death. O wonder-transcending nature, O the greatness of God, through the resurrection of the Creator, life has been established and death cast down, and in his apostles he works all manner of miracles, as we now see in the raising of Tabitha from the dead at the word of Peter. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the fervor of faith I cry out to thee with unworthy lips, and a heart defiled, O Theotokos. Save me, who am drowning in sins. Take pity on one who is slain by despair, that saved I may cry out to thee. Rejoice, O Virgin, thou help of Christians. This is our God who became incarnate of the Virgin and has deified our nature. 
and hymning him we cry aloud, Glory to thy power, O Lord. O holy and righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. A sign of the universal resurrection on the last day do we now see in Joppa. The apostle commandeth, and a dead woman obtains life again, edifying all in virtue, and falling down before her we cry aloud, O blessed Tabitha, pray thou that we all be saved. O holy and righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. By the power of the resurrected Saviour, at the sound of Peter's voice, thou hast roused from the sleep of death, that thou mightst again dwell in righteousness according to the commandments of the merciful Saviour. Him do thou beseech, O blessed Tabitha, that we all be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The mystery of death merely touched thee, O blessed Tabitha, for the Saviour, through the voice of his disciple, commanded thee to raise from the dead, that all mortals might know that the goings out and the comings in of our life are in the right hand of God. Him do thou entreat, that we all be saved. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The archangel Gabriel made announcement to thee, O virgin, crying out that thy son had cast down death and arisen as God, bestowing deliverance upon his people, who fervently cry out to thee, O mistress, O hope, Pray thou that we all be saved. Now shall I arise, now shall I be glorified, now shall I be exalted, elevating fallen human nature, which I received from the Virgin to the noetic light of my divinity, said God through the prophet. Holy and righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. No one sets a lighted lamp under a bushel, but rather places it upon a lampstand, that it might shed light upon all. Wherefore, at the word of the preeminent apostle, the Lord who loves mankind raises thee up now, O blessed Tabitha, full of the oil of mercy and shining with the light of Christ. Entreat thou the Saviour, the bestower of life, that he enlighten our souls. Holy, righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. He who has the authority to judge the living and the dead sends his disciples to resurrect the dead unto the confirmation of the glad tidings of the gospel. Wherefore Tabitha also is roused from the sleep of death, and we fall down before her, crying aloud, Entreat him who arose for our sake, that he enlighten our soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. With fitting him, Nadi, let us all praise her, whom the first enthroned among the apostles raised from the grave. O blessed Tabitha, thou chosen vessel of the mercy of God, Beseech the kind-hearted one who loves mankind that he illumine our souls. Both now and forever, to the ages of ages, amen. Thee do we magnify, O virgin Theotokos. Thou art a noetic lamp revealing to the world the unapproachable light, whereby all we are illumined in the font of baptism, even though we have been benighted by transgressions. Beseech him who received flesh of thee, that he illumine our souls. I have come unto the depth of the sea, and the tempest of my many sins has engulfed me. But as God lead up my life from the abyss, O greatly merciful one. O holy and righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. All creation is now filled with awe and joy, beholding death laid low. In the resurrection of Tabitha, by a man who received the command of God-man, the destroyer of hell and death, to him do we cry aloud, Grant us thy peace, O Almighty One. O holy and righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. O blessed Tabitha, who arose from the dead at the sound of the voice of the Apostle, whom the Lord has sent to perform miracles for the increase of man's faith, Cry aloud unto him before whom thou standst and upon whom thou dost gaze continually in thy second repose. Grant thou thy peace unto thy people, 
O Almighty One. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When the voice of the Apostle entered thine ear, O Blessed One, thou didst raise up from thy death, Bia, and having lived piously, didst again pass over to heavenly glory. Where do thou now beseech the Lord of all, O Tabitha, that he grant peace to us all, in that he is almighty. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Mother of God, our joy and refuge of salvation, we are tempest-tossed by transgressions and the perils of life, and we fall down before thee, offering thee contrite hearts and call upon thee for help. Grant peace to the world through thy supplications. The people of Joppa were filled with awe, and the angels of God marveled, when he who healed Aeneas called forth from the dead her who was called Dorcas, who was wholly adorned with loving kindness, for whom the poor widows cried aloud. And now, O blessed Tabitha, Hearken to our prayers which are offered unto thee, and beg thou the bestower of all good things, that he grant mercy and compassions unto his faithful, that blessing thee we may cry aloud. Rejoice, O thou who teachest us the virtues. Thou art the refuge of the orphans and widows, O Tabitha, handmaid of the Lord. Thou didst do good unto the people, didst fulfill the commandments of the gospel, and didst teach men not to live for themselves, but to do good unto their neighbors. Wherefore, thou hast been shown to be an heir of the kingdom of heaven, and didst abide on the earth, possessed of heavenly love. Therein, by thy supplications, do thou cause us to share, who honor thee with faith and cry aloud, Rejoice, O thou who teachest us the virtues. Rejoice, O thou who teachest us the virtues. O an originate word, only begotten Son, who existed in the beginning with the Father and the Spirit, blessed and supremely exalted art thou, O God of our fathers. O holy and righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. The choir of the apostles scattered throughout the world, illumining all the ends of the earth with the light of the gospel, and by raising up Tabitha from the dead, Peter confirmed the whole world to confess the resurrection of Christ, the bestower of life, whom we exalt supremely forever. O holy and righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. The dead shall be resurrected, and those in the grave shall arise, the prophet said of old, foreseeing in the spirit the trampling down of Hades. And this was revealed also by thy failing asleep, the dead shall be resurrected, and those in the grave shall arise, the prophet said of old, foreseeing in the spirit the trampling down of Hades. And this was revealed also by thy falling asleep and arising, O Tabitha. Wherefore, faithfully honouring thy memory, we exalt Christ, the bestower of life forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Confessing the Lord Jesus with thy mouth, O blessed Tabitha, thou didst give thy heart to him, didst hasten to carry out his commandments, and didst minister to the poor with the work of thy hands. And by virtue us with a ladder thou didst ascend to the mansions of heaven. And we, beholding thee shining with the light of the gospel, him and supremely exalt Christ, the bestower of life forever. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When Thomas arrived at thy tomb, O mistress, and beheld only thy signature, he understood that thou had arisen from the tomb through the grace and power of thy Son. Then the apostles glorify the Lord and thee, our helper, and taught by them we also believe that thou art ever inseparably with us. 
Vouchsafe unto us, sinner, bereft of the oil of mercy, that we may stand with the choirs of the elect before the throne of Christ, the bestower of life, like Tabitha, that we may exalt him supremely forever. O almighty deliverer of all, descending into the midst of the flame, thou didst bedew the pious youths, and didst teach them to chant. Bless in him the Lord all ye works. Holy and righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. Thou hast been shown to be a dwelling place of the most holy spirit, O right wondrous one. For thou didst uproot from thy heart all sinful thoughts, didst acquire the fear of God beyond all things, and didst erect within thy soul a temple of piety, divine knowledge, and love for man. And now rejoicing in the mansions of heaven, pray for us who honor thee with faith. Holy and righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. The spiritual fruit of peace and joy in the Holy Spirit is love, which is the bond of perfection, long-suffering goodness, and loving-kindness. And possessed of all these things, thou dost make within thyself an abode of the grace of God, O right laudable Tabitha, and wast a model of virtue, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom of heaven by thy manner of life. Wherefore, pray for us who honor thee with faith. We bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou didst show forth an example of consolation and long-suffering, O blessed Tabitha, by thy life in the Lord. For thou didst mingle all thy works with the mercy which poured forth from thy heart, wherein grace abode. Wherefore, grant us also this oil, that our lamps may not be extinguished, for we honor thee with faith. Both now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. The mystery which existed from before time began was made plain, O Virgin, when in fulfillment of the counsel of the pre-eternal one, Gabriel announced to thee the birth of Emmanuel, the true God and man, who has resurrected and deified all with himself. Him do thou beseech, O our all-blessed helper, that he grant eternal joy to those who honor thee with faith. The ineffable hidden mystery of God is revealed in thee, O all-pure virgin. For God has become incarnate of thee in his loving kindness. Wherefore we magnify thee as the Theotokos. O holy and righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. Following the word of the Lord, thou didst love mercy, O blessed Tabitha, and did offer him thy heart as a pure sacrifice, which thou didst cleanse with the fire of divine love, and gazing upon the people, thou didst perceive in them the image of God, and didst deal with them as the Saviour of the world commanded. Wherefore, grant thy love also unto us, and entreat him whom thou didst love, that he grant us life without end. O holy and righteous Tabitha, pray to God for us. The ends of the earth are glad, and Job rejoices, beholding an all-glorious miracle now wrought. For a blessed and a righteous woman has arisen from the grave, a disciple of him who trampled down the power of death and the gates of hell. Him do thou entreat, O Tabitha, in behalf of us all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glorification and hymn did we offer, O blessed Tabitha, unto the only wellspring of immortality, who at the word of his apostle raised thee from the dead, confirmed the faith, and has taught us how to enter into his heavenly mansions by the path of mercy which thou didst tread. And filled with joy by this, we offer him ardent hymns and prayers. By thy light, illumine us so. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Those in heaven and those on earth hymn thee with voices of praise, O Mother of God. For through thee have we come to know God and have found life eternal. For thy divine Son has broken asunder the bonds of death through his own death and resurrection. Wherefore, honoring the raising of Tabitha from the sleep of death by the voice of the preeminent apostle, we beseech thee, O Mistress, grant peace to the Church and to thy world, O Theotokos, ease the trials of the Church, and set us among the choirs of thy chosen ones. The light which has shone forth from the tomb of the preternal and incarnate word 
has illumined the whole world with the effulgence of the resurrection, whereby death has been trampled down, and the apostle bearing the effulgence of this life-bearing light, called forth Tabitha from the dead in Joppa, confirming the confession of him who arose, to whom we cry aloud, enlighten us by thy truth. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave his birth to God the word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, our true God, the prayers of his holy and all-pure Mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all-praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy and alive-giving cross of the Lord and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, St. Cisoes the Great, St. Brandon the Navigator, St. Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. With the prayers of the holy martyrs, Marcion and Martyrius and notaries, with the prayers of St. Tabitha the Merciful, raised from the dead by the holy apostle Peter, with the prayers of St. Cadian, of St. Scana, Sodron and Kralo, confessors in Wales, with the prayers of St. John of Beverley, with the prayers of St. Monarch, Bishop of Kilmarnock in Scotland, and all the saints, known and unknown to us, but known to God in his kingdom, whose memory we keep this day. At the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. At the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.